so many friends here today it's so good to see all of you this month we've been learning all about God's big love so tell me who loves you it's right God loves you what an amazing thing to know now this week a very special boy turned two so a big happy birthday to you Eli I hope you had a great day celebrating with your family well, wow. now we're going to show love to God by singing our praises to him. So get up on your feet, wherever you are at home, and let's sing and dance and show God how much we love him. God loves us, and he gave his only son. He is awesome, Jesus. Nothing can stop him.
singing everyone. I'm just getting ready to play with my kitchen set. I love playing chef and cooking in the kitchen, but I'm really upset because I seem to have lost my favorite ice cream and I can't find it anywhere. The set's just not the same without it in there. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Can any of you at home help me? Can you see it anywhere? I feel like I've looked everywhere, but I just don't know where it is. What's that? You can see it? Oh great, where is it? Behind me? Oh, to the other side. Oh yes, there it is. Oh, thank you so much for helping me find it. I love it so much. And it's gonna be needed to join the set here. Well, in today's Bible story, we're gonna hear about a woman who also lost something. I wonder if she found it. Let's go find out. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder Where could it be? Where could it be? Oh, hello friends, and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and I'm really looking for something. We sold a ton of the world's best lemonade and collected a whole bunch of money, but we lost the money jar. Can you believe it? I'm so sad. I've got to find it. I've looked up, look, look, look. I've looked down. Look, look, look. I've looked all around. Look, look, look. And I still can't find the money jar. I'm just not sure what happened to it. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Looking all around, are you? Hi, Ollie. We collected lots of money to buy games for kids in the hospital, but I lost the money jar. I'm sorry to hear that you are blue. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey there, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Have you seen my pocket watch? I always keep it right here. I had it this morning, but... What was that? You see it? In my other pocket. <gasps> well, looky there. Thanks, friends. It's the best feeling when you found something you lost, isn't it? In fact, I've got a story for you. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is one Jesus told about a woman who had 10 coins. There they are. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, where's number 10? The lady counted again. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, number 10. The lady decided to look for the missing coin. Look, look, look. She turned on a lamp. Look, look, look. And swept the floor looking for her lost coin. Look, look. Look, do you see it anywhere? Shout out when you see it. There it is. She found it. 
She called all her friends and neighbors and said, celebrate with me. I found my lost coin. Let's count them all now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hooray! Jesus told this story because he wanted us to know that just like the coin was special to the lady, we are special to God. Let's celebrate! Woohoo! Everyone say, God loves me and I am special. Ready? One, two, three. God loves me and I am special. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. You are very special. And God loves you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. God loves me and I'm special to God. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I found it! Let's celebrate! Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39 Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39 Well, Jesus told this story because just like the coin was special to the lady, you and I are special to God. We are very special to Him. Yay! Everybody say, God loves me and I am special. Are you ready? One, two, three. God loves me and I am special. Yes, it is true. If you've said that, it's true. You are special because God loves you. Let's pray now and thank him for that love. Dear God, I just thank you for the story that Jesus told. Just like that coin was very special to the lady, we all are very special to you. We thank you for loving us always, no matter what we do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, because you are special, we want to celebrate that. So I want you now to draw a picture of yourself. We have this outline on the Salt Kids at Home Facebook page. So if you're able to print it out, you can print it out and um, draw yourself on there with your lovely face and your clothes and things. But if you don't have a printer, you could also just get a growing up to draw this outline for you, or you can draw one yourself. Then once you're finished, I want you to write or ask a growing up to write for you. Your name is special to God. So, like my one would say, Ruth is special to God. Okay? And then you can remember how special you really are to Him. Well, next week we've got a new thing to learn about. So make sure you come back and join me then. We love you and God loves you. And we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.